Mm. Yes, okay, okay, not to sound like a hater, right? Um, I don't know if it's just me, but it just seems as though no matter how these housemates are rehearsing for their wager task presentation, it's still not sounding melodious in my ears. It's still not making sense. It feels like it's still sort of half-baked, yes. Although, I'm not going to lie, I'm really enjoying the, the playful sides, right, of the housemates. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that show, that performance that they put up for us last night, courtesy of um, Juicy J. This guy is a whole vibe. <laughs> Could literally watch this guy all day goofing around dancing around playing around taking the task so serious like his life depends on it i mean this guy is obviously the life of the party i am loving his energy yes however however the whole task the whole rehearsal ladies and gentlemen i'm still not feeling it yet and in a way i'm kind of feeling sorry for them because it seems like they had Monday, they had Tuesday. They did not really put in a lot of energy into preparing for the task. And then Wednesday, knowing fully well that, oh, it's just one day. It's the day of the presentation. Everybody is now, you know, putting in so much effort and trying to make it work. And it's, it's also hilarious that some of them still haven't really gotten their lyrics right yet. Yes, they haven't. But that aside the crux of the matter of this video is olivia and um, what's her name now yvonne's conversation i mean i was listening to the content of their conversation last night and oh my god these two young ladies had a whole lot i mean a truckload of things to say about their fellow housemates especially the South African guys. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, at some point I was just so pissed. I was really pissed because I kept on asking myself that, okay, hello. Is this not supposed to be a social experiment? Like, what the hell are they thinking? I mean, how is it that you want people to come to you, but you feel like you're too big to approach people? Yes, you're not even approachable in the first place. You know what, yeah? Let's get into this video. We're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to analyze it, okay? And as usual, I'll urge you all to please go ahead and share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. That's what we're going to be talking about on this video, all right? But before we get into it, let me officially welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. You're welcome back. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the T. Um, if you are new here, thank you so much for choosing to subscribe, to join this community. But but if you are not subscribed yet, you come, you view, you leave, you do not even contribute in the comment section. Come on, please. Why? Why? Listen, do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen. You totally need to do that as that's one of the easiest and fastest ways for you to receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one. And hey, to those of you amazing folks that are returning viewers or returning subscribers, thank you so much for choosing to come back, for choosing to click on this video to watch. Um, yeah, let's get into the video now. So Olivia was basically complaining to Yvonne about how especially most of the South African male housemates are not bothered enough to approach her for conversations. I mean, this girl was going as far as using statements like, oh, if it was in the real world, would they even be able to see me outside and approach me and talk to me? Even Yvonne, too, was making the same statements that, oh, if it was in the real world, ah, they cannot even, we are not even on the same level. And I'm thinking, okay, this is the height of it. This is the height of it. I mean, why is this show a social experiment? Why is this 
a, a social experiment between Nigerians and South Africans? Why is this a collaboration? Why did you leave your house? Why did you even audition in the first place for a show like this, knowing fully well that the people that are going to participate on the show are not clones of you? Yes, because if they were to be clones of you, the question you should be asking yourself as a housemate is, can I live with myself? Can I condone my behavior? Can I put up with my attitude? Can I be friends with my own personality? Yeah, so these ladies, they knew fully well what they were getting themselves into. I mean, from most of their conversations, they've been following different seasons of Big Brother Niger, even Big Brother South Africa, even Big Brother Africa. So listening to their conversation last night, guys, it was just so annoying. Yes, I'm really, really disappointed. And they were just complaining that the South African guys, they don't even manage to even approach themselves. Oh, aside size GCJ that, you know, is very, very friendly with um, Yvonne, the others, they are not even bothered. And I know for sure that this statement is coming from a place of the feeling of rejection. Yes, that's from Olivia now um, between herself and um, Tabang. Yes, because Tabang had kind of confided in Ipileng that he kind of has this thing, this soft spot for Olivia. But then he doesn't want to jump into any close sort of relationship in the first few days of them being in the mansion. Yeah, because for him, it's a fresh experience for him. He wants to have fun. He wants to leave the experience. He wants to enjoy every single moment. So he doesn't want to really restrict himself to being with just one person, you know, and then at the end of the day, he starts regretting if he finds himself gravitating towards another female. What if I entertain him, right? Yeah. But then, like, maybe by the end of the week, I realize... Oh, same day. Hmm? Like, can I show you a light box in here? Not even, not even that, not even that. But what we have here, right? I realize that um, Yvonne mm. is what I want. Yeah. So for now, he's only going to try and be this time, take his time, not rush anything, but then just be courteous to everybody around him, especially the women. Even if he kind of likes Olivia, he's not in a hurry, you know, to rush things up. He's not in a hurry to start following her around the house like Juicy J does with Yvonne, which obviously it seems as though that's the kind of energy that Olivia is looking for because of course she has seen that her friend is getting that much attention from a South African crush, that's Juicy J. So they were just going on and on and on and on. And guys, be very honest, I mean, there's room for conversations like that to be had. And personally, I would not have any issues with people expressing themselves about how they feel, you know, towards other housemates. But then going towards a direction of, oh, if it was outside, if it was in the real world, ooh, they would not even be able to approach me. Guys, I definitely do not like it. I did taste it wholeheartedly when housemates begin to sound like that because that begs the question of, you yourself do not know these people. You don't know what they are worth. You only know what they've told you inside the house during your get to know you better sessions. You don't really know who they are outside. You don't really know what they are worth. You know, so coming on, you know, with the line of eh, if it's outside, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, come on, that's just too much cockiness for one person. That is just too much pride from one person and then talking about oh they cannot even approach you to talk to you you yourself have you made any efforts whatsoever to approach those south african male housemates to have conversations with them and ladies and gentlemen if we're gonna call a spade a spade olivia is that one housemate that is yet to fully let herself go or even open up enough yes or even make herself more approachable to other housemates, not even just the South African housemates now, right? But she's not really opened up herself to other people. Aside her two besties, um, Yvonne and Jenny O, she rarely opens up to other housemates. And other housemates that nominated her, they complain about the same thing. She's too boxed up in her own little knowledge. I mean, aside their collective rehearsals, Olivia does not really allow herself approach other housemates especially the south african guys to just start up conversations with them you know and then yvonne too was making statements like oh naturally i'm the sort of person that i wait for people to come talk to me i'm not the one that goes start up a conversation with people and yay it's okay i know that people like that actually do exist and it's not like there's anything wrong with them i was thinking oh my god oh my god these ladies honestly do not really understand i mean 
guys they don't comprehend they don't comprehend what a social experiment is they do not comprehend and now i really understand the reason they have chosen to stick to their gang they've chosen to stick to what they know yes you know sticking to only the the nigerian people they can have conversations with now i understand i mean yvonne is even trying entertaining um gcj's advances trying to get out of her comfort zone trying to get to know him yes even though she wants to be on the ship yes but olivia is still kind of stuck in what she knows and frankly speaking i feel like if she does not allow the experience to pass through her then she'll only walk out of that house remaining the same way she went into that house because at the moment listening to that conversation she was having with yvonne in fact listening to both of them it just seems as though these people are the sort of people that do not allow themselves to learn from a new environment they just want to stick to what they know but hey guys that was just what i deduced from that conversation that was what i thought when i was listening to both of them rant yes for me i just felt like their ranting was baseless because they are complaining about a problem that they have the solution to if you want people to talk to you you should also make yourself approachable you should also be able to open up or even take the first bold step go ahead and talk to them other than sitting down and complaining about a situation that you can actually control you can actually sort out but ladies and gentlemen i would love to hear your thoughts about this one what do you think please go ahead and share with us in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another video soon have an amazing day bye